Good evening. Hello. Do you hear me? Yes. Good evening, teacher. Okay, perfect. Good evening. Thank you for confirming that you hear me. Okay, that's cool. Um, hello, hello, uh, Iris and Milagro, Ivani and Jennifer, only girls connected. We are going to wait that the others can connect at this moment. Uh, how was your weekend? Did you have a nice weekend? Did you do anything interesting on Friday? Friday, Friday night, because we had class. I mean, uh, Saturday and Sunday. What did you do? Did you do anything good? No teacher. Uh -huh. How was how was it good? But um, talking about activities, uh, did you do anything good, special, or interesting during the weekend? No. Didn't you go out? No salió. Didn't you go out? Any place at at the park, maybe a sort of city, no. maybe. No teacher. No resting. Not, but early weekend for me is um much or very activities. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you mean a early uh, early weekend? Uh huh. Correct. Activity. Hice muchas actividades, pero no las que mencionó. Ah, ok. Another activity. Different activity. Mm -hmm. All right. Ok, that's cool. Uh, sometimes you don't go out. Instead of that, you stay at home and rest. Right? You watch TV, movies, some series. You enjoy with your family. You get together, etc. All right. Uh, let's see. Right now, good evening. Uh, Marbelli. Jocelyn, good evening. Cecilia. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay. And hey, and the boys. Don't we have boys in this class? Only girls I see connected. Solo chicas en conectado. And the boys? What happened? What happened with the gentlemen? Con los caballeros. With the gentlemen. All right. Maybe they are connecting in, in a moment. All right. Good, good, good. Um, do, do you, no, 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 do you. We have the second week. This is our second week. And the first indication is during this week, you're going to be working on, did you finish the section one and two? Terminó la section one and two. Did you finish? Yes, Hello, yes teacher. teacher. Good evening. Ah, there is a gentleman, Byron. Hello, Byron. Welcome. Hello, good night. Good oh, night. No, good night is when the class <laughs> Sorry, is teacher. It's good evening. Ah, Sorry. Okay. All right. Good evening. Yes, that is the correct one. Good evening, Byron. Okay. <laughs> Guys, uh, did you finish the section one and two? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Finish. Okay. Yes, teacher. Finish. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's cool. Yes, teacher. Excellent. That's a great. Um, throughout this week, a lo largo de esta semana, throughout this week, uh, we are going to be working on section three. And, and let's see. meter exam. The midterm exam. Correct. Yes. The midterm exam. The section three and the midterm exam. All right. Uh, Jessica, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good Welcome. Evening. Ana Maria, too. Karen Lopez, there she is. Ahí está. All right. Jenny Bautista is online, too. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Jose Mario, I see you. See you there, connected. Good evening. Good evening. Ana Maria, Caria, it's great to see you. All right. Hey. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. It is Rosario has a behind here a map with with seeds on semillas, right? It is yes. Rosario. Oh, yes. that's pretty different. Good, yeah. America, South America, Central America, North America, uh, Africa, and all continents with with rice and beans. 
in more shades. Good. Okay. Hey, Carlos. Carlos is connecting. Carlos Arias. Good evening. All right. Uh, guys, I was saying, estaba diciendo, I was saying that throughout this week, we are going to be working on section three and the midterm exam. All right. Yes. Section three and the midterm exam for this week. That is the indication. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, teacher, okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. If you are done, that is more than excellent. All right, good. Okay, uh, in the class, we are 18, new week, uh, Monday. Uh, Monday, what date? What is the date? Who knows? Mm, Who knows the date? 17. 17. October 17. October 17. Correct. October 17. Okay, um, let's uh, begin with the class. We are in class already. Uh, just uh, let me share my screen with you. Okay. Just one moment. I am sharing. Clicking on share sound too. All right. Um, I have the Word document opened uh, already. This is it, yes? Monday. Uh -huh, correct. Monday. Monday, October, Monday, October. October 17th, 17th, 2022. 2022. Correct. Yes, 2022 or 2022. Okay, great. Uh, today, the class is going to be about, we are going to develop this activity today. It's about food. Food in Britain. Britain or Britain? Britain. 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 Ah, okay. Britain. We have what we need. We need uh, the dictionary, yes? Or Britain. Uh, Britain or Britain or how? How do you pronounce it? Okay. Okay. I don't know. We can I check. We can check quickly so you can get it clear. Okay, okay. let's see. Uh -huh, there is a word. Britain. 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 Okay, what is Britain? Uh -huh. What is What's that? Britain. 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 Uh, but what is it? What is it? It's a town. Bretaña. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a country, right? Gran Bretaña. Okay, ah, in Spanish. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Gran Bretaña, correct. Or in other words, um, is England. Yes or no? Yes. Is it England? Uh -huh. Is mm -hmm. it England? Okay. Scotland. Yes. Uh, Scotland. No, Scotland is Scotia. Okay. That's another country. But uh, today we are going to develop this activity about. About what? Mm, about yum, food. Yummy. Yum, yum, uh -huh. so, food in Britain. In Britain. Like eating. Okay. Do you like eating? Do you like eating food? Do you like eating food? Yes. Do you like eating food? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes I like yes. We are going to discuss something about it today. All right. Let's see. Um, I will have to choose a volunteer. Please, 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 please. Uh, Gabriela Sanchez, can you help me with uh, these two lines about this paragraph? Okay, teacher. Um, Carmen looks at the different food that people in Britain enjoy eating and talks about how food in Britain comes from all over the world. Okay, thank you very much, Jose Mario. Jose Mario, the next two lines, these two lines. Do, Jose Mario, hello. Jose Mario, three, two, one, Jennifer. Jennifer Salinas, these two lines, please. Can you read them? Do uh -huh. or volunteer, volunteer for the reading. Remember, uh, we practice. Do, uh, uh -huh, correct. Do do the preparation task first, then watch the video. Next, go to task and do the activity. If you know, if you need help, you can read the transcript. 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 At Anytime. At any moment, okay? When you need help, uh, you can check the transcript, but you can do that in in your free time. All right, great. 
Uh, the four areas that we practice uh, in these classes are, do you remember the four areas? Uh, speaking. Uh -huh. The speaking, correct. What else? <laughs> Grammar. Grammar. Uh -huh. uh, listening. 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 Practice. Practice, practice. practice correct. Practice. Those are the four. Okay, no problem, Jose Mario, no problem. Okay, let's do the preparation for this type of activities. We can do the preparation first. Okay, let's see. Before, before you watch. Before antes, you watch. Before you watch. Before you watch. Antes oh, de, de ver el video. Okay. Mm. Think. Think about the following question. What kind of food do you like? Okay, just like. a moment. Just a moment. We are going to read the questions <laughs> one by one. Okay, because they are different. We are going to discuss a little bit. Vamos a discutir un poquito ahí. Okay, what kinds? What kinds of food do you like, Jessica Castro? What kinds of food? What type of food? Um, Mexican is spicy I, food. Uh -huh. I like, correct? <laughs> I like Mexican food. Mexican food, that is very popular. Yeah, I love Mexican food too. Burritos, tacos, tortas, etc. Uh, Milero Yanis yes. and you, the first question, what uh, what kinds of food do you like? Um, uh, me, too, me too, teacher, I like Mexican food. Mexican, okay, two points for Mexican food. Ana Maria, Carias, what type yes, of food? Yes, I like Mexican food. Three points for Mexican food. Uh, uh, Karen, Karen Lopez, mm -hmm, delicious, yes, it is. Karen Lopez, what type of Mexican? I oh. like China food. China. China is the country. And the food? The food Chinese. is? Chinese. Chinese. Ah, Chinese. Okay, uh, China. China walk, Chinatown, etc. Yeah, Chinese food is delicious. Uh, it is Ricardo Vega. And you, what type of food do you like? No more? Okay, Ivania, Jose, what type, what kinds or what type? Okay, that is uh, the same. What type, what type or what kind? It is the same, lo, lo mismo for, for the question. Okay, no more. All right, second, second question. Yes, sir. Sure. What? Yes, yes, Me yes. Me too. I love it, Mexican food. Mexican food too. Okay, it's very popular in this class, Mexican food. Second question. What is, what is, what your, is your favorite, favorite, favorite dish? dish? Okay, what is your favorite dish in general? It can be different. It can be Salvadorian. It can be American. What is your mm. favorite dish, platillo? Main dish. Main dish. Mm -hmm. No? Okay, I will start. My favorite main dish or my favorite dish is lasagna. I love lasagna and salad and bread and with garlic. Mm. That is my main favorite dish, my dish. And yours? What's your favorite dish? Pizza. Pupusas, pizza. My, <laughs> yes. My favorite dish is uh, ro roast fit. fit? fit? Roast Carne beef. Asada, I don't know say in English. Ah, Roast okay. Beef. Okay, beef. Okay. That's... Roasted beef. Uh -huh. Yes, beef. Ah, it is delicious too. I like it. Correct. Yes. And what else? And Cecilia Hernandez, what is your main favorite dish? My favorite dish is um, pasta. Pasta, I love pasta. Okay, Italian food. Love it. Italian food is delicious, <laughs> yes. All right, Jenny, Jenny Bautista, you, Ivania, Brandon, participate. You can, you can do it. No mm. more. Frijoles, I beans? Think, uh, <laughs> I think, teacher. Uh huh. You think? My Which favorite one? dish is pizza. Pizza. Mm. For a favorite dish, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't convince me. No me convence pizza. Okay, but that is yours. It's it. So your teacher. Uh -huh. Jenny, yes. 
How do you say a camarones al ajillo in English? Oh, delicious. That is one <laughs> thing that I like it too. Okay, shrimps. Shrimps uh, with garlic. With garlic, let's say. Let's say. Shrimps with ah, garlic. Okay. Okay. Okay, shrimps. My, with garlic. Mm -hmm. Okay, my favorite my favorite dish is string with garlic. With garlic, that is delicious too. All right, good. I okay, know. Next, yes, it is delicious. Yes. Good, good. And uh, the next question is gonna be. What, what is, is what is typical dish, dish, uh, from, typical dish from, your for, from your country? Okay, let's see. Let's see if you are all of us. All of you are Salvadorian. Yes, are you Salvadorian? Do we have any yes. Mexican in the class? No? No? No Mexican people? No. American no. people? No. <laughs> From Costa Rica? No. From Panama? Oh, no. no. Everyone no. is no, Salvadorian. No, no, no. Okay. Answer that question then. Answer this question. What is a typical dish from your country? What is a typical dish? The typical dish from our country is pupusas. Uh, okay, but uh, be careful. I can tell you. Okay, be careful with what? Con que tener cuidado with a singular and plural. Okay, a typical, mm. uh -huh, a typical dish in mm. our country. Uh, in our country. Okay. Yes. Are or is pupusas? Are. 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 No. No. Because is, the is, no. is. No. Is. Are. R is plural, but yes. because we are talking about a typical a dish. Ah, yes, yes, a complement, okay? As a whole, como un todo. That is singular, mm -hmm. only one dish. Uh -huh. uh, let's see who said it. Uh, Jessica, what is a typical dish that you were going to mention? Uh -huh. Okay, a typical, typical dish, complete, complete. A typical dish in our country is pupusas. Pupusas. Okay. Yes, because we are talking about a typical dish, only one. Uh -huh. Another, can you mention one? Another one? Different? Typical. Yes. Which one? A typical dish in our country is fried French. Uh, fried fry French? Uh, fried French. Uh, what is that one? What is, it? what is that one? Papa Frita. Ah, really? Here in El Salvador. Yeah. A typical no. uh, teacher. Yes. A typical yes, dish teacher. in I... our country yes. is yuca yes. fry. No. Fry yuca. Fry yuca. Oh, yuca. Yes. It's typical. <laughs> in South Another Africa. typical dish is elote loco. Elotes locos. Okay. Okay. Crazy <laughs> corn. Uh -huh. How do you say tamales <laughs> in English? Tamales. Tamales. That's. Ah. Normal. No tamales. cambia. That doesn't change. No. Okay. That is the name. Okay. Tamales too. Uh huh. Riwas. And etc. I don't know. Teacher. Huh? Teacher. A typical dish. Um. Uh, pasteles. Ah, pastelitos. Okay. Yes. That is yes. typical. Yes. It is a typical teacher. dish for for a snack. For a snack. No main. Para un snack, sí. Pero no. Eh, eh, Como main dish, no. Como un plato okay. principal, no tanto. Pero, yes. All right, okay. all right. Okay, we know uh, we know a lot about typical food in our country. Okay, let's watch the video. Uh, pay attention. Please, microphones be activated because it is only listening. Get the listening about the video, and then we are going to do the tasks. Ready? Are you? Are you ready? Yes, Isha. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I read. Well, what is the title yes. uh, of this restaurant? <laughs> the Fresh, Fresh, the Pasta, Fresh Company. Pasta, 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 Pasta Company. Fresh Pasta Company. Okay, Pasta too long, too long for a restaurant name. Muy largo para un nombre. The restaurant, the Fresh Pasta Company. Too long. Okay. Uh, attention, attention, please. Chinese introduced Oriental food to Britain. But before the Chinese, immigrants from all around the world came to live in London. British 
people enjoy a huge range of food and flavours from other countries. This is Borough Market, London's oldest food market. Today you can find food here from all over the world. Italian cheese. Each group of settlers brought their own food and styles of cooking, and people here embraced the exciting new flavours. Maybe because British food wasn't very good. Restaurants from all around the world can be found on most British high streets. Indian, Chinese, Greek, Italian, Spanish, Persian, the list goes on. Just what are the UK's favourite dishes? My favourite meal is Thai green curry. One of my favourite meals is cottage pie with peas. My favourite food is Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> What's my favourite meal? Still full <laughs> English breakfast. <laughs> this is a full English breakfast. Tomato, black pudding, sausage, bacon, egg, mushroom. A big fried breakfast might not be to everyone's taste, but in Britain, there is something for everyone. Celia Brooks-Brown is a food writer and knows all about food and the future of food in the UK today. Good. What have we got here, Celia? Well, this is a British tomato salad with a Yorkshire-made sheep's cheese. And here we have a Barnsley lamb chop with new potatoes and a mint... Oh, what, what happened? The video stopped just early. Just let me check it out. What happened? What happened? Okay. Maybe there was an error with the connection. Just let me go back a little bit and I will replay it, replay it. And here we have a Barnsley lamb chop with new potatoes and a mint hollandaise sauce. So is this a sign of developments in British cooking? Yes, people want to know where their food comes from. Chefs in restaurants like these are reinventing classic British dishes. They're using ingredients that are locally sourced and locally grown. So what about world cuisine? Well, anything goes. Chefs love to experiment with ingredients from different cultures, and we live in a globalized society. It's very exciting. Okay, Celia, if you were cooking these dishes at home, what ingredients from different cultures would you use? Well, I might use something like this. This is a Moroccan spice mix called Ras al Hanout. Have a sniff. Mmm, that's really strong. Lovely, isn't it? Mm. Now, this might make a lovely spice rub for that lamb chop. I can't wait to taste this. The food in Britain reflects the many different cultures here. But some of the old favourites are here to stay. I'm off for my favourite. Fish and chips. Want a chip? Hey, she took a chip. A potato chip. Okay. I will play the video one more time. And then we can go with the tasks. Okay. Get attention. A second time. in the last one. introduced oriental food to Britain but before the Chinese immigrants from all around the world came to live in London <laughs> British people enjoy a huge 
huge range of food and flavors from other countries. This is Borough Market, London's oldest food market. Today, you can find food here from all over the world. Italian cheese. Each group of settlers brought their own food and styles of cooking, and people here embraced the exciting new flavors. Maybe because British food wasn't very good. Restaurants from all around the world can be found on most British high streets. Indian, Chinese, Greek, Italian, Spanish, Persian, the list goes on. Just what are the UK's favourite dishes? My favourite meal is Thai green curry. One of my favourite meals is cottage pie with peas. My favourite food is Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> What's my favourite meal? Still for an English breakfast. <laughs> this is a full English breakfast. Tomato, black pudding, sausage, bacon, egg, mushroom. A big fried breakfast might not be to everyone's taste, but in Britain, there is something for everyone. Celia Brooks-Brown is a food writer and knows all about food and the future of food in the UK today. Good. What have we got here, Celia? Well, this is a British tomato salad with a Yorkshire-made sheep's cheese. And here we have a Barnsley lamb chop with new potatoes and a mint hollandaise sauce. So is this a sign of development in British cooking? Yes. People want to know where their food comes from. Chefs in restaurants like these are reinventing classic British dishes. They're using ingredients that are locally sourced and locally grown. So what about world cuisine? Well, anything goes. Chefs love to experiment with ingredients from different cultures. And we live in a globalized society. It's very exciting. OK, Celia, if you were cooking these dishes at home, what ingredients from different cultures would you use? Well, I might use something like this. This is a Moroccan spice mix called Ras al Hanout. Have a sniff. Mmm, that's really strong. Lovely, isn't it? Mm. Now, this might make a lovely spice rub for that lamb chop. I can't wait to taste this. Mm. The food in Britain reflects the many different cultures here. But some of the old favourites are here to stay. I'm off for my favourite. Fish and chips. Want a chip? Oh, the chips. Okay, good, good. Did you like any food uh, from the streets that you could see? Did you like any? No? I like the full English breakfast. The full English breakfast. That is common. That is like pupusas here, that dish. Because that is a, like the national dish in England. Yeah, it's delicious. A lot of things in, in the plate. Okay. This is the transcript, uh, guys, that you can check. See, you can... Um, Check for vocabulary from the, the speaking part about the video. You found it. The dialogues. You can see uh, Celia and Carmen. Okay. Their conversation. You can check that later. But in this moment, we are going to develop the, the two tasks that we have. All right. Let's go with the first one. 
vocabulary. Feel, feel in the in gap, the gap with, with the most appropriate words to complete the sentence. Okay, let's repeat complete, like the complete, complete like, sentence. Like complete. Kellogg's. Complete. Do you know Kellogg's complete? Kellogg's? The... Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. it's like that, complete. Complete. Okay, complete, yes, complete. 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 Fill in the gap with the most appropriate, the correct. Appropriate. Appropriate. Most appropriate. appropriate. Most appropriate. Word to complete the sentence. Word to complete the sentence. Okay. The words are these ones, all right? The words are those ones, and this is the sentence. The first one is? Enjoy. I enjoy. I enjoy. enjoy. And what is the Oriental word? Oriental food. Oriental. This one? Yes. Okay, it has sense because we are talking about food, and in this part you say, I enjoy. It could be oriental food, okay? I enjoy oriental food. Next. Many, 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 many have settled settle in the UK. Okay, uh, settled, what is settled? Settled is when you are talking about a city or a place. Okay, when you are talking about a city or a place, the verb settle, settle is a verb that means, significa asentarse. Okay, and when you settled in a city, that is for living, para vivir. You, you settle. You can say, ah, me vine a vivir a donde? A, a, no sé, a Colombia. ¿Cómo digo eso en inglés? Mm -hmm. I settled in Colombia. I settled, correct. Settled in Colombia mm -hmm. uh -huh, five years ago. Hace cinco años. Okay. Settled. So what is the meaning? What is the meaning of settled? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. The meaning of settle. It can have several meanings, and this is one. Vivir, okay, llegar a vivir, etc. Okay. Uh, for this sentence, what is the correct uh, word? Immigrants. Immigrants. Uh, okay, the immigrants. Uh, many. So Immigrants. Many immigrants. Many immigrants. Many immigrants. Many immigrants. Many immigrants. Have settled in the UK. Have settled UK. in the UK. Okay, in the UK. Correct. All right. In my, it seems the correct one. Parece la correct. Okay. Next. Many, 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 many British 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 people. British 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 what is the word uh, developments embrace or reinvent many embrace people embrace embrace embrace, embrace. what is embrace what's embrace what is the... huh? okay can definitions definition embrace aha uh -huh. embrace embrace Embrace. To, embrace to pull to put arms. your arms oops okay just let me go back to put your arms arms around like someone in, someone in the world in, the show. in order to show love or friendship or friendship, friendship. Uh -huh. and the meaning is how like a hug. Abrazar. Correct, correct. Abrazar, embrace. Embrace. Okay, so many British people. Many British people. Many British people different embrace cultures. different cultures. Okay, let's see. I will place it in this part. Okay, next. 
Thinking, 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 Travel, travel to the moon. Travel. What is that? Development. 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 Ah, okay. What is that development? What is development? Uh -huh. Development. Like desarrollar. Develop is the verb. Desarrollar. Development is a noun. Development. Is a noun. What is a noun? Desarrollado. No. Desarrollados. Desarrollados. No. Desarrollando. Development. No. Ok, it says noun. Cuando dice noun, quiere decir el, el, el uncountable or countable noun. Si sí sabemos, if we know that develop is the verb, develop is the verb. Ok, that is the verb, ese es el verbo. En development, what does it mean? Development. A, as a noun, desarrollo, correct. Noun, as a noun, yes, desarrollo. Okay, so in the sentence is development. Development in technology. Development that we can travel to the moon. To the moon. Okay, and the last one, the last one is. Stop, stop, right. To Raymond. The well. Mm, what is that? And stop trying to reinvent the wheel. What does it mean that? ¿Qué significa? This part. Ah, que hay que dejar de tratar de reinventar la que? La rueda. La rueda. Ah, ok, it's already created. Porque ya está creada. But let's see if the words are in the correct order. Let's check that in this moment. I will click on finish. Ready to see? Oh, yes. All of them are correct. They were correct. Okay, very good, very good. They are correct. Okay, let's see. The task number two, it says. Choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answers. Okay, in, in plural, answers. Answer. Okay, the first one. What can you buy? What can you buy? Borrow, matter, market. Buru, Buru market. What can you buy Buru. in Buru market? Buru, Buru market. In Buru market. Do you have? What can you buy? Food? Food. 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 Or hand crafts? Food. 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 Uh, according with the video, is food. All right. Food. All right. Next. Let's see the next one. What is an English breakfast? What is an English breakfast? Cereal? A fried breakfast? A fried breakfast. Which one? Fried breakfast. Fried breakfast. Okay, let's select it. Or oh, it's already selected. And we'll pass to the next one. What does Okay, what does locally sourced ingredients mean? What does it mean that? The first one, can you read it? Okay, number two. Food that has been brought from the local market. has been brought. Okay. And number three. Food from different countries. This one. Okay. What is the correct selection for this? The last one. The last one. 
Food what from does different countries. locally, food locally sourced ingredients mean? But it says, what is locally? Local. 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 Okay, okay, local. Okay, local. sourced. Okay. But it says food from different countries. Do you no. think that matches? No. Okay. Huh? That has more sense. Esta tiene más sentido. Food that has yes, been has bought from, local from a local supermarket. Oh. Because yes. he says it here, what does locally sourced ingredients mean? Ingredientes que son de local, de conseguido, de origen, correct, sourced, de origen local. Okay, so number one, two, or three? Two. 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 But it can be number three, it can be number three, who knows? No. 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 Two. 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 Okay, let's see. We are going to check later. Next. Carmen. Carmen thinks that British people it is not very good. Fatty. What is fatty? Fatty. 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 What is fatty? Fatty. Okay, what is fat? Ah, okay, fat. No patties, right? It's a fatty. Fat is grasa. And fatty? Grasos. Grasosa. Yes. Muy grasosa. The food, yes. The food, la comida, okay. Or? It is too healthy. It is too healthy. Okay, what is, what is the answer that you would choose for this one. Carmen thinks that British food has been influenced. Can you repeat it? Influenced. Influenced. It is not very good. Really? Okay, let's see. It is too healthy. Or too healthy. Healthy. Okay, which one? Which one do I choose? Well, which one? Sorry. Uh -huh. uh, too healthy or it very, is fat. very fatty? Okay, very let's leave that very one. Fat. Let's leave that one. Dejemos esa. Okay, next. What? What does it mean? Okay, what does it mean to live in a globalized, uh, repeat, globalized, globalized, society, 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 society. Globalized. 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 Okay. globalized. What does it mean to live in a globalized society? What is the definition? The first one, can you read it? Your community is influenced by people and events across the world. Okay, across the world. Number two? Influence. Yeah. Your family, family lives all, all over, all over, the, over the, world. Uh, the world. All over, all over, around the world. And the number three is by, by, by your, your food from, from, from the internet. From the internet. Buy food from the internet. Mm, I don't know. No. Okay. What does it mean to live no. in a globalized society? Number two. Number two. Uh, number two. Number one. number one or number two? Your community is influenced by people and events across. Mm, okay, number one or two? One. One. Okay, one, number one. Okay, let's see the last one. 
Which, which of the options of the options option below is a traditional British meal? Traditional British meal. Fish, chips, and chips. Thai, curry. Curry. Do you like curry? Do you like curry? No. No, I don't. I do. I do. I, yes. I do. I like it. Okay. Or macaroni and, and cheese. And cheese. What is the uh, the traditional uh, British meal for English people? Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to check on or click on finish. And let's see. The answers are... Ta -na -na -na. Ew, total score is Say. four out of six. Oh, six. it means that two of them are incorrect. Two, or two of them. Let's see. This one is correct. Correct. No, it wasn't oh, that funny. one. No. Carmen thinks that British food has been influenced by other countries because uh -huh. it's not very good. It is not very good. It is it's not very good. Okay, let's show the answers. Correct. That was the correct one. It is not very good. And okay, that one. Ah no, you chose. Usted escogió cuál? This one, right? Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Ah, okay, yes. and it was the correct one was this one. Esta era la correct. Okay, and this one it is correct and correct, good. but not good, no, no, no bad. I mean, not bad, no stomach. Good try. Okay, very good. Let's see, man. The next part: download support pack. You have sometimes this option to download things from this website uh, have you explored this website guys have you explored it no no you no. can you can do it you can find many things in this website we can go to the menu you can find skills listening uh, videos reading exercises writing speaking grammar uh, videos you have videos, audios, a magazine zone. For example, if you click on it, you have the option to check um, many things from this uh, website for learning English. It is very good. Okay. And what else? What else is here? Let's see below. There is no more. No, I must below. Only two tasks and that's it. Okay, and, and where the transcript? Let's check. Okay, let's do a little bit reading. I need a Carmen in this part. Who can read these two paragraphs? Okay, a volunteer for the reading. Let's practice with the with the transcript. Okay, who wants to be Carmen? Can I say Carmen? Jessica. Okay, you have the hand raised. Okay, Jessica. You can read. Carmen. Hmm? Carmen. The Chinese introduced Oriental food to Britain, but before the Chinese immigrants from all around the world came to live in London. British people enjoy a whole range of food and flavors from other countries. Okay, let's repeat this word. See, it is a very important to do some reading because we learn new vocabulary, new uh, pronunciation things. For example, this word is pronounced huge. Can you repeat it, guys? Huge. 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 What is, huge. What is huge. 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 Huge.
Extremely large in size. Extremely large in size. In other words, en otras palabras es enorme. Enormous. Enorme. Enormous, correct. Okay. That means huge. Eso significa huge. huge. All right, all right. Next, next volunteer, let's see Karen Lopez. Karen Karen. This, this part, these two. This is Born Marker, London's oldest food market. Today you can find food her from all over the world. Okay, let's see. Today you can, this is a verb. We have a verb. The verb is pronounced find. Let's repeat, find. 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 What is find? Find. find. What is find? Buscar. Uh, find. Encontrar. Find. Encontrar. Yes. Encontrar. 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 You were close. Estaba cerca. But it's encontrar. Yes. Uh, you can find food. Let's repeat here. Here. Uh -huh. Repeat here. it. Here. 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 From all over the world. All right. From all over the world. Okay, Cecilia Hernandez, next, uh, this one, esta. This is Italian cheese. It's grow of sorrows about their own food and styles of cooking. And people here embra embrace the exciting new flowers. Maybe because British food wasn't very good. Okay, good. This is Italian cheese, each group of settled, settled, settles, or settle is the verb. Settles, 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 in this case, settles. are the people that go to a specific place, settles. Brought, let's repeat, brought. 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 their own food and mm. styles of cooking and people here embrace the exciting let's repeat exciting 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 ah, okay exciting. but before exciting Slower. this is a word that is embraced repeat it embrace 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 exciting new that's exciting new, new flavors flavors flavors, flavors. flavors. repeat flavors flavors. 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 flavors flavors maybe because a British maybe. food wasn't very good was all right very good Cowboy good food good, good. Uh, next Ricardo Ricardo Vega are you in class yes yes Ricardo one, Ricardo two, Ricardo three. Yes. No. Oh, okay, there you are. Okay, help me with uh, this part, this one. Okay, I try. Okay, restaurant from all around the world can be found on most British street, Indian, Chinese, uh, Greek, Italian, Spanish, Persian, the least. But just what are the UK's favorite dishes? Okay, thanks, thanks and thanks. It says uh, restaurants from all around the world can be found on most British high. You forgot the word high, really? high streets. Indian, Chinese, Greek, Italian, Spanish, Persian, the list goes on. La lista continua goes on. Continu go on is continuar. Go, but here is the third person, the list. Por eso dice goes, all right? But just what are the UK's favorite dishes? Okay, let's see. These four are going to be read by, 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 by Marbelli. Marbelli, your turn. These four. You, these four. Okay. On the street. My favorite meal is that curry curd. Curry. The... Curry, the curry. ingredient. Curry. 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 Okay. 
One. On the, one um, of the favorite um, meal is cottage pie with peas. Pie with peas. Mm -hmm. This one. My favorite food is Chinese chains. The same, the same, lo mismo. Chinese, Chinese. Chinese. Okay, and finally. What is favorite meal? Still full English breakfast. breakfast. Full English breakfast. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Ivania, 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 your turn. Chef, this is a full English breakfast. Tomato, black pudding, sauce, bacon, egg, and mushroom. Okay, okay. The ingredients are tom tomato. Uh, British people say tomato, but it's tomato. American tomato. English, tomato, tomato, yes. Black pudding, sausage, repeat, sausage. 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 Oh, what is a sausage? What is sausage? Sausage. Salchicha. Salchicha. Ah, the sausage. 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 Dog. Sausage. 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 Okay. Sausage. 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 Correct. Sausage. Sausage. No sausage. Sausage. No. Like the name, like someone's name, is <laughs> sausage. Sausage. It's kind of difficult at the beginning, but if you try sausage. Bacon. Bacon. What is bacon? Tocino. Delicious. In the morning for breakfast. Egg and? Mushroom. Mushroom. Okay, all right. Let's see. Carlos, Carlos Arias. Your turn. These two. These two paragraphs or lines. A big five breakfast my meeting maybe to everyone's taste. But in the time there is something for everyone. The figure broke wrong is a full reader and knows from the future. Knows are all about food and the future of food in the US, UK or United Kingdom today. Okay, it is shortened as UK, lo acortan como UK, right? People already know, ellos ya saben, UK, United Kingdom. But that is like abbreviation. Okay, guys. Uh, you can continue practicing with this, uh, with this vocabulary, with the paragraphs or the transcript. In other words, you can read, you can practice. If you have, if you have doubts with, uh, with uh, pronunciation of the word, I recommend you to use uh, the dictionary. They are, they are good. In this, in this place, you can find the translation. Oh. Uh -huh. or the pronunciation. Sausage. And Sausage. you can use this one too, or this one too. You have three links, okay? When you have problems or doubts with pronunciation of the words. All right, we are going to stop in this moment. It's already nine o'clock, almost, ya casi, almost nine o'clock, okay. That was the activity uh, for today. I will send you the link. I will send you the link to the chat. And uh, see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. As always, tomorrow. And don't forget, uh, section three in the midterm exam this week. All right. Yes, yes. All right. Clear. Okay. Bye, bye. 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 Good night. Take care. See you. Good, Good night. night. Have a great night. Take care. Take care too. Have a great night and sleep well. Bye-bye.